Some good news now, and a man from Leeds has revealed he was back in the gym just one day after treatment to destroy his brain tumour. Yes, John Langford was the first person to be treated by a revolutionary new £3 million machine, and it's based at St James's. The Gamma Knife claims to target brain diseases with pinpoint accuracy, preventing even the need for surgery. Emma Glasber reports. It took 30 minutes and he left hospital just over an hour later. John Langford had a benign brain tumour that was causing deafness. When he heard that St James's Hospital was getting a new machine that could destroy his brain tumour within half an hour, he asked for treatment. John was the first patient treated by the Gamma Knife in Leeds. That was less than two weeks ago and he's amazed by how simple the procedure was. The following day I was in the gym. Every day since I've done everything that I've always done, going to the gym, playing golf and so on. So as opposed to needing a recuperation period of several weeks for, for an operation, with a hammer and chisel as I put it, um, this meant I just literally, I, I, had I had a job, I could have gone into work the next day. The three million pound equipment uses gamma rays to target brain diseases with pinpoint accuracy. It destroys abnormalities and leaves healthy tissue unscathed. There's no incision, no hair loss and no need for brain surgery. There are only a few machines in the UK, but the one in Leeds is the most advanced in the world. It's not quite perfect, it has to be said. Not every tumour um, can be treated in this way, but for small compact tumours, and particularly for benign tumours which, with which the patient is going to live for some years, then the gamma knife is particularly useful. Okay. That's what they call the brain bulb masturbate. The machine is expected to treat up to a dozen patients a week from as far afield as Manchester and Newcastle. It already comes highly recommended. The team were absolutely, I mean, I can't, I can't speak highly, and if anybody else has got to go through the procedure, then they should have no fear. John won a bet with his friends that he'd be back to normal within 24 hours. He now has to wait a few months before having a scan to see how successful the treatment has been. Emma Glasby, BBC Look North, Leeds. Emma, thank you. Incredible.